right now in the new place, it, the kitchen's getting set up. So we've got an induction stove, but that isn't connected yet. We need a new fridge. Um, once that's all set up, I can start cooking again. But because I've had to wait, I've been buying, um, I've been buying fast food. Well, not fast food. I've been making sure not to buy Macca's KFC. So there's a noodle place I go to today. I got um, pad thai. Yeah, there. nice, very nice. The other, the other day I got um, Wong Tong soup. And then I think the only fast food place I'll go is Guzman. Yeah, yeah, you Guzman do like, yeah, meals. you do I get a Cali that. burrito. So every time, just for lunch, it's towards 14 to $18. I was going to say, that I feel like that would be the biggest issue. Because just for lunch. you've gone from, because you've actually been very good, I yeah. must admit, probably out of all my mates that I know, very strict the sense like, no, nah, like I'll cook me meals for the week. Yeah, yeah. Have this. Like, yeah, that initial shop spend is quite big, but I know that for them for the rest of the week, I'm not spending Break any more it, money yeah. on food. Yeah. So the thing, I wish I was a bit more like that myself. Um, But yeah, fuck, I was going to say, that must be adding up pretty quick because you haven't been cooking. Mm. No, no, you are very no, smart no, with your exactly money, but I, I feel like, yeah, all of a sudden you're just like, oh, fuck, like this week, like I've spent... Yeah. We're really able to spend all that money on my Sunday, whatever day you go shopping. I would have spent it then, and then I'm set for the week. Whereas, like, I'm constantly buying for every day. Yeah, definitely. And with it, uh, it was. Are you sort of getting over that? Like, granted, I know that you are mixing it up, but are you also sort of to the point where you're sort of like, I don't know, I'd much rather have just cooked. Like, are you sort of getting. Yeah, like, you're sort of getting. Oh, money wise, definitely. Because you've got to think about it. I love getting a coffee in the morning. Coffee now, if I don't go to my regular place, it's four eighty. And if I Fuck. sorry, if I don't go there, it's five twenty. Everywhere else is five twenty. Bloody hell. So it's adding up and by the time I get a coffee and just lunch, I've spent twenty two bucks. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, with the price of petrol too, if you have to fill up on a on a day that you have to fill up. Mate. Then obviously just like you said as well. Getting dinner, mm. yeah, you could get the cheap. I out, opt out for like a cheap fourteen dollars, but that's still like the daily spend, yeah. and that's just that day. Mm. If like, if I could put the way my meals work, after a long time, I realize that if I freeze them, they don't taste too good, and I don't want to eat them. So I realized it was a complete waste if I made a whole batch and freeze them. So what I'll do is I'll make food for four days. And in that four days, there'll be three meals each. So the three meals would consist of your basic chicken, rice, and broccoli. Yep. The other one would be kind of like a stir fry, like cut up um, steak with Ooh, nice. rice, a little bit of soy sauce, and things like red onion, carrot, um, corn, really mixed up. And that yeah, beautiful. Nice. And then the other one, which I absolutely love, would be um, salmon, rice, and pasta. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So all that together. Three big meals, like they were good yeah, size. Yeah, so nice fill you up. Yeah. Like get you through your day. Would cost me like maybe 100, around maybe 1 to 110. So if you split that up, I was, each day those three meals were about 20 to 25 bucks. So for three solid meals. Yeah. So you're saving a lot more money, being a lot fuller, and you're eating a lot healthier. 